Hello everyone, and I'm glad that you're here with me today um, to look at the news here in Harlem, New York. Well, as you know, there is a child outside of the church protesting, saying that he won't go to church. Now, I have a, a independent news reporter, and I'm news reporter Jack, and I've sent my colleague, the squirrel, to interview this child to find out why he won't go to church. And it's important that uh, we find out just what's going on. Has this child lost their mind? What has happened to the world? And, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's go right now on the scene to find out what's going on with this church. And I'm not going to church. No, not at all. I won't go in there. And, uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. There's a squirrel here to interview me to find out why I'm not going to church. Okay, okay, okay. I understand that Marvin, one of our members, outside today and he's protesting that he won't come to church. Now, I'm youth pastor Emmanuel and I'm not sure what's going on with Marvin, but uh, you know, I think today would be a good day to talk about why we should stay in church. Oh, wait a minute. Um, I see that there's a question already and um, looks like it's coming from Calvin. So, tell me, Calvin, why are, uh, what's your question? Okay, okay, I know what people are saying. All of us kids sound alike, and maybe we do, I'm not sure, but, uh, you know what? Um, Marvin, uh, he's my friend, and, um, I think... Maybe we should stay in church to make sure we can have um, snacks. Yeah, we come to church for the snacks. Yeah, that's what. Uh, 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 yeah, that's what I come to church for. Okay, Calvin. Well, uh, that was something else. But um, I want to say that. We come to church for different reasons. And uh, let me help you out with that. And I'll help you out so you can always come to children's church with the right idea. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24 tells us, Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and even more as you see the day approaching. Well, the writer of Hebrews put this together and there's a couple of things he talked about. One, he talked about a promise. That means to announce something about, uh, well, that means to announce something. Something is promised. Jesus has announced that he will return no matter what happens in our lives and God will be with us through the Holy Spirit. God supplies our needs. Well, that's a promise, you know. Now, I want to tell you that we learned about that promise, and also we should know that God is faithful. That means he's trustworthy, and faithful people do things consistently. All right? So that's what it means. It means that also it's like um, if you had to buy something at the store, you know that if the item's going to always be there. So that's what it means to be faithful, consistent, and we can believe in God's promises. Now, I know you may think, ah, 
Well, that's not really a good reason to come to church, but it really is. Because when we can learn more about what God has promised us and how God is faithful, we can have the courage to just stand, just be willing to wait for things. And we learned about prayer, about not being anxious, and we can learn how to wait on God. And that's some of the reasons why we come to church. So we can encourage one another. Okay, um, Marvin's going to come with me to the basketball court. We're going to be playing basketball on Sunday rather than going to church. So, that's what we're going to be doing. Oh, my name is Greg, and I'm one of the monsters that live in Harlem, New York. So, uh, Marvin is going to come with me to the basketball court, and we're going to have fun. 